Hey there, Soul Shines, it's Michelle here, and I just wanted to check in just because I wanted to kind of keep some rhythm that I've been lacking or reinstate some rhythm. I don't know. I don't know what the right words for it is. Um, yesterday was Sunday. Today is Monday. I'm recording this on Monday, and I, I didn't do anything anything with yarn. I didn't do my socks. I didn't do tithing projects. I just didn't even have any desire. And I don't know what's going on with me because I just, I don't know, maybe, maybe I need a break for a while where I don't worry about it. I have a couple of things that feel like have to's and I just don't like have to's. I'm like, just don't make me do it. Um, there's something about deadlines or people requiring something of me that sometimes it kicks in a little bit of rebellion. I don't feel like I have a lot of rebellion energy, but I definitely am feeling it a little bit. And I think that's part of what's going on, but I don't know. Um, I have done a little bit on my Vortex shawl, um, in the last few days, but not enough progress to really say, Hey, look what I've done. Um, and I will probably do a whip Wednesday and put that in there. So I'm not really going to show anything that I'm working on. I just kind of want to talk about it, I guess. Um, I'm frustrated with myself because I really want to make this cardigan for my grandson. And I literally started it, did that like two inches, two and a half, two and a, it's probably about two and a half inches. And I have literally not picked it up since. That bugs me. Why haven't I picked it up since? And why haven't I, like, I've decided not to do the flower of the month because I was just like, I just don't know. I don't have any desire to. Um, I am, I'm supposed to be doing a whip for um, the mystery or challenge, and I just don't feel any desire to work on that either. It's like, no, no, I'm not, um, no. So I don't know, I don't know what to think or what to feel. Um, I will pick up my shawl and I'll work on my shawl. That's fun. I look at things that I want to make and then I fight with myself about them. Like, I'm currently doing a fun challenge. To me, it's fun. It might not be for anybody else. But I'm doing a challenge um, where every day this week I'm going to wear skirts. I started on Saturday. I mowed the lawn wearing a skirt. That was fun. Um, it didn't interfere anyway should I perform is just something I did. Oh, I need to finish mowing the lawn. Our battery died and it hasn't been getting full charges. So we have to go out and finish mowing the lawn today. But um, I, I'm on day three of wearing a skirt. But I got this skirt. I don't have it to show you because um, my daughter washed it with her stuff. It is white, but I'm going to um, probably do a tea dye on it just to add a little bit of off-whiteness to it because um, I don't really love wearing stark white and so I'm just going to add a little bit of color to it and then um, I want to I want it's it's a it's a fairly long I'm not sure if it's all the way to my ankles or if maybe it's supposed to be like a mid midi and I'm just short so it goes down further I can't remember um, but it's it's kind of long on me and it's a white skirt that has eyelets in it it has a lining so but to me I look at it and I say that would make a great petticoat I love the idea of wearing a skirt over it and maybe like pulling it up so that the white shows through and and it's just like kind of pulled up there's a there's an example. I'm going to put the picture up here if I can find it of the style that I, I like. And I'm thinking that would be really fun to do with this. Um, but also I want to crochet a skirt. And so a part of me is like, okay, I'm going to crochet a skirt. And the other part of me is like, that's a big project and you're not working on the projects you have. Do you really want to start that? Actually, I kind of do. So I don't know. I, this is just, 
just it. And sometimes, like, so a lot of the people's advice, if you are lacking in your Kojo mojo or your Nitjo mojo or whatever, a lot of the advice is, like, you know, put it a while for a minute or learn a new thing or something. I don't know. Um, But this is kind of where I'm at. I'm, like, just blah about all of it. I really am. And I can't say that I necessarily look at my list and feel overwhelmed per se. It's just like uninspired, like, ugh. So that's where I'm at. Like I said, I didn't even do my stripe for my socks. I don't even know what color the stripe is supposed to be. Maybe I'll get that done today. Maybe I won't. I need to look at my projects and kind of ask myself. I know one thing I need to do. Um, because there's a lack of clarity. And so I know one thing I need to do and um, maybe if I finish the cow cozy and there's not that pressure to make something somebody's buying from me. I don't know what it is about when you take a craft and turn it into a job or you get paid for it or somebody asks you to make it there's something about that that's hard for me it's why I've never sold anything on Etsy besides like I made this pattern and I'm like well the patterns made I might as well put it up for sale it's kind of what my thoughts are and it's kind of nice to get a couple bucks here or there um, so today is what April um, in like four or five months, I'll start to get a few cells on the Christmas towel topper, the Santa towel topper. Um, and that's fun. And so like, and starting like September, October, and a lot in November and a few in December, I start to make a little money. That's fun. It's not a lot, but it's fun. Um, so I know that it would be fun to make some of those patterns and get up. But again, that's just like, I don't want to make the patterns because I want to put them up for sale. I just want to make the patterns because it's fun to share them with people. So I've got to be really careful about my mindset on all of it. And I think that's part of my problem right now is I have some things that people want me to make for them. And it's feeling more of a chore than just a sit down and do something I'm inspired to do. I really have to feel inspired in my life. Um, when it comes to cleaning, I really rebel against set, like, you have to do this day. The whole block schedule thing that people do, like, every time that just makes my whole being panic, like, uh-uh. I have to ask myself, what, uh, what needs to happen and am I feeling inspired to do anything? And I know that productively wise, sometimes people say, you don't do it because you feel like doing it. You do it because you just do it. But my whole being rebels against that. So like right now, I know that there's some dishes that need to be done. But not as many as has been because we did do some over the weekend. And I need to finish mowing the lawn. And that feels okay for me to do. But they're not like, oh my gosh, I have to do them today. They're just like, I need, well, the dishes I feel like I have to. And every time I feel like that, I start shutting down. See? I don't know. I don't know. I'm trying guys, but this is kind of my little not so inspiring thing. Maybe maybe you guys have ideas. Like do you have an idea of when I, if you're not feeling it, what you do? Do I just put all of my things on hold and be like, oh well? Um, do I just be like, I feel like working on this today and so I'll work on it? Um I like I I see my yarn over there. It's my beautiful green yarn. And I put off starting that because I'm like, well, I'm already doing the Vortex shawl and I have these other projects that I'm not working on. So, like, I can't start that. Oh, guys. If you have any ideas, please let me know. I know this is not a super inspiring. This is not encouraging you to let your light shine. I'm not showing you everything. Oh, but I'm going to show you this. I did not make this. I bought it. I am sure it is factory made. But I went to a thrift store and I bought this sweater. Isn't that so beautiful? Like the color is just gorgeous. Let me put it up over here and over here. And look at this, it like matches like up in here. 
It's more pink than this rust color and it's lighter. Ha, <laughs> almost. It's lighter than this red color over here, but it's close. It's like a little bit more orange than the red and it's lighter, but I feel like it just could fit in on my blanket and that makes me happy. And I just think it's really fun. And it was just here and so I wanted to share it. Isn't that pretty? Ah, <sighs> okay. I'm going to go now. Remember to let your light shine through your creations, whatever they be. And hey, if you don't feel like creating today, that's okay too. I think so. Um, sometimes you need to give yourself some downtime. And sometimes you need to find out if you're avoiding something. So I may just go journal about this. Anyway, I love you guys. Bye.